In this tutorial, I'm going to solve a plate to plate connection using Abacus and I'm going to plot its stress contours, deflected shapes, load deflection curves, and I'm going to find the contact pressure as well. Plate to plate connections are used in cars, in aerospace industry, and they are used in civil engineering as well. This is a plate to plate joint. Top and bottom plates are aluminum plates. We have a rivet, which is a titanium. This is the problem which I'm going to solve today. It's been taken from Abacus documentation, which is here. I will use these nine steps to model this problem in Abacus and get the results. So our first step is creating the part or creating the geometry. And this is a geometry which I'm going to create today. Start with Abacus standard. The first step, creating plate. I want to create 3D deformable solid and extrusion. The size is 100. I want to create a rectangle and then I will adjust its dimensions. We'll add dimension. This is 32.5, but I would like a 30 millimeter long plate. The width of the plate was 10. Click done. And the depth is 1.5 millimeter. You'll be able to see this plate. Now I want to create a bolt hole over here. Simply click on extrude cut. Click this surface. This side is on the right side. Click on circle and click anywhere on this line. I'm clicking over here. Press cancel to cancel the procedure. I want to create a dimension between this point and this point. This is 7.5 and the radius of bolt hole is 2.5. Click OK and here the radius is 2.5. Click OK and then cancel the procedure. We are done with extrusion. And then simply click OK, it will create a bolt hole. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a rivet. I will use this geometry to create a rivet. Go to parts again, create a new part rivet. This time I want to create a solid part with revolution. The dimension which I will use is 20. Starting with the line, start from here, horizontal line, again a vertical line, horizontal line, come down and then a vertical line horizontal line and again close this space. Now these two lines H, H, they are of equal length and these lines they are of equal length as well. So let us apply this constraint equal length. You have to press shift and click these two lines. Click on done. You can see now they are of equal length. Press shift key and then click these two lines and done. These two lines are of equal length now. I would like to have a look at the geometry. I have 2.5 over here, 3, 1.5 and 4. So the distance from here to here horizontally is 2.5 and this distance is 4. The distance of this part is 1.5. Click here, 1.5. This bit is 3 and cancel the procedure. Then click done. Revolution angle is 180. It means that it will revolve it around the bolt. In the documentation, it says top should be fillet and bottom should be chamfer. But when I was trying to model it, it wasn't assembling properly. So I think the top should be chamfer and bottom should be fillet. So click here, fillet, click the bottom line and done. Chamfer given is 0.75 in the documentation. Now chamfer. So click this line and done 0.75. This part is created. Cancel. The second part is to define the material properties and the material properties are given in Abacus documentation manual. So I'm going to use these material properties. I have them in Excel sheet and I'll upload the link down below in description. These are the properties for aluminum plates and these are the properties for a titanium rivet. Let us see how we can define these properties. Let's first of all define aluminum. Go to materials. First, I want to define the elastic properties. Elastic properties are 71700 and Poisson's ratio was 0.33. And this is the yield stress and yield strain. So I will copy this data and simply I will define mechanical plasticity and plastic. Simply I will copy this data over here. Click or right. Aluminum has been defined. Next thing I want to do, I want to define the titanium properties and the modulus of elasticity. I will copy this from this Excel sheet. Click on material, titanium, 
mechanical elasticity elastic properties modulus of elasticity poison's ratio is 0.34 click all right then i want to define its yield stress and yield strain these are the properties which i have taken from abacus documentation manual you go to titanium and mechanical and plasticity define these plastic properties and click ok now i will assign those section properties to the sections so click on sections and create say plate section homogeneous click ok and i want to use aluminium and i want to define the rivet section and i will create titanium click ok and here i will assign the section click on plate section assignment click this and assign plate section and for rivet click on section click here and assign rivet section so i've defined materials i've assigned the section next is assembly and i want to assemble the plates in a way that the part on my right side is the movable one part on the left side is fixed one and the direction of arrows will be like this so go to assembly instances first i will define first section then i will create another instance auto offset i have to create this constraint face to face back face of the section on right is the movable one and back face of the section on left is the fixed one go to constraint face to face this is movable section this is fixed section so let's flip the direction distance is zero now you can see that these two faces are face to face the next constraint i want to define is parallel edge again my movable instance will be one on the right and one on the left is the fixed one so click on constraint and parallel edge movable edge is this one fixed edge is this one the next constraint i want to define is coaxial so go to constraint coaxial choose underside of the bolt hole of movable one and choose the fixed one they should go in the same direction i believe and now you can see the plate to plate i call the first plate as the top one and i call the second plate as the bottom plate and then i will create a rivet section i will apply this constraint coaxial and the direction of arrows should be like this click on constraint coaxial movable one and i will choose the bottom one let's see if direction of arrows is like that yes click ok now you can see that section has been assembled and the fillet portion is at the top and chamfer is at the bottom but when i was defining it in parts i defined the top one as chamfer and bottom one as fillet in the documentation obviously it says the other way around but it doesn't work in reality the next step is to define the geometry sets and i will define a corner i will define fix pull and sim go to sets so first i want to define corner i will use this corner this node to remove rigid body motion from the model and then i will define fix set this is where i'm going to fix the plate so i'm going to fix the bottom plate this is my bottom plate this is where i'm going to apply the deflection or loading so i'm going to pull this plate from here and next one is sy mm sim click ok press shift and choose these surfaces this is where this model is symmetric this is a half symmetric model just to save computational time we are modeling it as half symmetric it means that out of the plane deformations are not happening and then I, I will define one node over here as well that will be my deflection point so i will call it defl this will help me when i will plot the deflection once i've done it my sets are defined then i will move to the next step the next step is defining a step so i will define initial step after initial step i want to define one static general step with nonlinear geometry on and with incrementation i want to have increment of 0 0.05 the initial increment and then click ok next i want to define the interaction properties and then i will define a general contact interaction properties here i will define firc break click continue and mechanical tangential behavior here the friction formulation is penalty and coefficient of friction is 0 0.05 once the property has been assigned then i will go to initial and then click on interaction here i will say all and general contact all with self what it will do it will find out the interaction between different components without the need of specifying the contact pair so it will simplify the analysis quite a lot
and then global frictional property is frick and then click OK. This has been defined now. The next thing is boundary conditions. So fix, pull. I'm going to pull this by 2.5 millimeter and the symmetry and rigid boundary conditions. I will define these boundary conditions. The first one is pull. So pull one displacement, uh, click continue. Here I want to define pull set highlight in the viewport. I want to displace this by 2.5 millimeter. You can see that the loading has been applied. And the next one is symmetry continue. And then I want to choose this symmetry surface. Click OK. I want to reduce the out of the plane deformation. So it is symmetric in Y direction or U2 direction. This has been assigned. I want to fix the bottom plate. Click or right. The bottom plate u1 should be zero at bottom plate finally i want to define rb which is rigid body motion i want to prevent rigid body motion in z direction for this i will specify the corner which is this corner and i want to say that it shouldn't move in z direction next step is to create mesh and job and i will create mesh in parts rather than in assembly and i will use this c3d8i with seed size of 1.2 and sweep technique for plates and i will use c3d8r elements with size of 0.5 and hex dominated sweep technique for rivet first i will go to plate part and then here i will simply go to mesh and first mesh controls i want to use sweep technique this is fine next i want to choose the element types mesh element type here i want to use incompatible modes so c3d8i click ok and then i want to seed the part with 1.2 size click all right and then mesh part this will mesh the part for me then i will click on rivet i will go to mesh first controls here i will create a mesh sweep technique but hexagonal dominated technique in that way some parts which can't be modeled using brick elements they will model using wedge elements and element type i want to use reduced integration elements c3 d8r and then i want to seed the part seed the part with 0 0.5 click ok and then i want to mesh the part if you wanted to see mesh over here, it will simply look like this. And then next step is to define the job. I will define the job as lap underscore joint. Click OK. One thing which is really very important is to define the working directory. So I want to set the working directory so that all my files are saved in that working directory. And then I will save the model as well. I should have actually saved it earlier. So this is my working directory now once i've done everything i think the next thing is to submit the job and right click monitor it will ensure that whatever is happening inside the model it will show me a step by step process remember my initial increment was 0 0.05 so it will try to start with 0 0.05 if the analysis is stable then it might increase the increment Once the analysis is finished, then I can click on right mouse button and then I can see the results. So here you can see the results. Click on deflected shape. You can view this deflected shape. Click on stress contours. It will give you stress contours. Then I would like to show you the path. So I want to see the contact pressure at the top plate. Click on path, edge list, path one, continue. And here I would like to have the top plate and I want to add after replace selected so i just want to see this instance click done top plate add after and here i want to add it by shortest distance so i will click on this bottom point and then i will click on this bottom point the entire path has been uh, chosen and then on this bolt hole i want to see that how much pressure it is developing as a result of tensile load application then click on xy data and then path continue and here i want to see the field output which is c press means contact pressure and plot and contact pressure you will see that it compares well in documentation manual and then i want to create load deflection curve the first thing i want to do i want to go to odb field output and unique nodal i want to plot a reaction in x direction and i want to find out reaction where we applied the displacement so i will plot it i will save it 
and then I will remove this reaction and I will plot the applied deflection as well. So deflection point plot save. Then I want to operate on this data. Here I will go to operate on data. First, I will sum up all those reactions. They are individual reactions at all nodes. So use sum reactions. Double click here. Plot expression. I will save it as load. I will combine this load deflection. So for load deflection, I will click on deflection first and then load. Because this model was a half symmetric model, the loading which is taken by the model is half. At this point, I have to multiply load by two so that I know that full model is going to take double the load which half model is taking. So multiplying load with two and plot the expression, this will give me save as load deflection. In that way, you can see that I have plotted load deflection curve for this model as well. Thanks for watching this lecture today and I will see you in my next lecture. Keep watching. Click on this side of the screen to watch buckling analysis of columns using Abacus. Click on this side of the screen to watch full playlist on finite element modeling using Abacus.